Even on a bright day, all I could see was darkness. Ending my life to stop the pain went from a fantasy to something I thought was just a matter of time. I was exhausted. I had nothing left. I was done. I, I felt, felt so alone. Society continues to struggle to understand about men's mental health. For years, people will laugh at a man for expressing how he feels. But once he opens his mouth, his pain and feelings do not matter to those who have black hearts. There are millions of men struggling hurting, beaten down, emotionally drained from everything they've been through. And yet, the world still brings them down. 2022 was such a rough year for a lot of people, especially for men, those who are broken in pieces. Society does not talk about male suicide that are happening each year. Those that are battling divorces, surviving SA, getting rejected, beaten by women, being called a pedo. Worst of all, take their own lives. everything that happened in 2022. Back your power. It's a must. But the question is, when do we start? They say working out can also better your mental health in order to prevent you from having suicidal thoughts, no matter what situation you're in. Eating healthy and working out it's a must in 2023. Sometimes when I look at the sky, I could not help but to wonder and think, am I gonna be all right in 2023? Am I really gonna be okay? Or is it gonna be much worse than last year? But then the more I thought about it, the more I realized that maybe being positive is the best solution. Life is too short. We have to get better this year. 